quatrain, he gives us an actual date when the war will be well underway. In the year 1999 and seven months, from the sky will come the great king of terror. He will bring back to life the king of the Mongols before and after war reigns. Out of the country of Greater Arabia shall be born a strong master of Mohammedan law. This king will enter Europe wearing a blue turban. He is one that shall cause the infernal gods of Hannibal to live again. He will be the terror of mankind, never more horror. This king, this warlord, Nostradamus says, will wage war against the West. The kingdom of the Fez shall come to the throne of Europe. When? Well, starting between 1994 and 1999. Where? From the Middle East, an invasion of Europe spreading across the entire world, a war led by a great king of terror, a third antichrist after Napoleon, after Hitler, a leader so terrible, he will bring the world, according to Nostradamus, face to face with final annihilation. The great one of the East, by land, sea, and air, with a great army, will cross with death. The kingdom of the church will be overcome by the sea. From Persia, very nearly a million. From Persia, from greater Arabia, from the kingdom of Mohammed. Nostradamus clearly suggests that the Middle East will play a central role in the trouble to come. There are a few contemporary foreign policy experts who could quarrel with him. World attention is now focused on that part of the world with its oil deposits and its growing population of devout Muslims. There are over 750 million Muslims in the world, most of them in the Middle East. Recently, they have been rediscovering their Islamic roots. Long suppressed by the superpowers, they are now beginning to reassert themselves politically. They can do this because they have the oil that the West needs. They can become, experts agree, a threat to world peace. But are they capable of waging a nuclear war against the West within the next 20 years? Nostradamus would seem to say yes, through an alliance with Russia. The Moorish law will be seen to fall, followed by another that is more pleasing. Boristhenes will be the first to give way. Nostradamus experts agree that here the French seer is suggesting that Islam will spread through Russia, starting in the south, near the river Boristhenes. They foresee Soviet nuclear capacity combining with Islamic manpower to wage war by 1999. The sky will burn at 45 degrees. Fire approaches the great new city. Nostradamus names the first nuclear target. A great new city near 45 degrees latitude. Experts agree that that could only mean New York. fire he will destroy their city. An inhuman cruel heart, cold, blood will pour, mercy to none. Nostradamus is also said to have written of the American response. The trumpet shakes with great discord. An agreement broken. Lifting the face to heaven, the bloody mouth will swim in the blood.
overcome, the great nation is uncertain. Shortly before the sun, a battle is engaged. suggests that New York, with its skyscrapers, its man-made mountains, will be a nuclear target. Nothing, the prophet says, will keep the city from dying. Hidden fires, a great place burns with heat. A hot wind. War. The great city will soon be quite deserted. Not a single one of the inhabitants will remain. Nostradamus tells us how long the war will last. The war shall last seven and twenty years. The earth trembles, pushed into the air and falls again. The herald is sent out to call for surrender. shall be driven back and all the kingdoms of Christianity and all the unbelievers shall quake for the space of years.
there shall be more grievous wars and battles. Towns, cities, castles, and other buildings shall be burnt, desolated, and destroyed. Married women and widows ravished, sucking children dashed against the walls of towns. So many evils shall be committed that almost the entire world shall be undone and desolate.